What is going on YouTube? It is Primitive here and today I'm going to be bringing you the finals of the most recent locals here at Rocky Mountain Collectibles. This is going to be between myself. On the right, I'm going to be playing Bond of Friendship with the blue hybrid package and then on the left we are going to be having the yellow Rapidmon hybrids. Now starting off the match, I'm just going to go ahead and play out Strabimon, a very strong card that can hit both a tamer and a hybrid for me. So I like being able to get those out early, try to get some search going. I am going to leave the Gabumon in the back because I don't really want it to just get swung over by something like a Rapidmon, and I don't want to use it just yet to be able to just go in and swing, so I do keep it in the raising. Now, my opponent's turn, they're going to play the Zoe, grab out the Zephyrmon, so that way they can build up into a Jet Selfie later, and play out a Cody, which is one of the more annoying cards in the deck. Going to go ahead and promote the Gabumon now and swing in. I decided I'm okay with promoting it now because I hit another rookie in my hand, so that means I can go ahead and hatch next turn, put another Gabumon in raising, and now I have Matt on the board, so that means I'll be able to get Matt ability to gain one and draw one. So now Jet Selfie is going to come out, going to be able to recover the damage that I did. They are leaving Patamon and Raising, which is telling me that they probably still have uh, are missing the Rapidmon. So now they're just going to go ahead and go into the Ofani and heal back up. So not really showing any of the damage that I did early on. Going to have to do it all over again. But now I have a BT6 Gabu in Raising, which means that now I'm going to be able to promote next turn. And if I go into Bond, I'll be able to get the full three swings. And now I'm going to go ahead and play out Matt and Tommy. That's going to allow me to get some extra Tamers on the board. Board. Matt gives me the extra draw and Tommy just sets me up for better Kori Kaku turns especially now that this Ofanimon doesn't have any sources. Now we see the TK Kari come out one of the more annoying tamers because it kind of punishes me for swinging in by allowing them to be able to get that extra memory so now I have to think about if I want to promote the Gabumon or not and get those extra two memory and draws or if I want to leave it in raising for more of a combo turn I am going to decide to promote here because I kind of just need to get the draw and cycle a little bit more to find the cards that I need so I don't fall too far behind but also I don't really want to swing I will play into the TK Kari if I do I normally try to not worry about the TK Kari too much because it's a card that can kind of trap you into not swinging and then you get into a position to where you fall a little bit too far behind so I decided I am going to go ahead and digivolve or swing and then I'm going to start digivolving up to stun and I'm just going to go ahead and go full in for the swings I decided to go with the Kori Kaku over the mat instead of the Tommy because I wanted to save the Tommy for a future turn when there are a couple more Digimon on the board besides the Ofanimon, and since I don't have a Gabumon in raising, I was okay with sacrificing a mat. But I still have my opponent in a little bit weird of a situation here. It hasn't looked like they've hit the Rapidmon, so the Patamon's still chilling and raising, and it's not going to help them out any more right now anyway, because I don't have anything on the board. But now their Ofanimon is stunned and could potentially give me a bunch of memory with the Sorajo, so they're actually going to pop their memory boost to go to 7 and get out Susanomon. Now, this is something that does play around Sorajo a little bit, but now, knowing blue hybrid, it is going to be very easy for me to stun the Susanomon forever there's no way to get this Susanomon off of the board so if I can strip its sources and get it stunned then it is just gonna go ahead and be uh, stunned there forever and give me the Sorajo memory so I'm gonna go ahead and swing tap the Sorajo to strip the source and then Tommy is going to be able to stun so now that soon Susanomon is neutralized right there two turns back to back stunned so not gonna worry about those checks a little bit too much but now I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna be at two I want to get rid of this Zephyrmon on the board so that way they don't get up into a jet selfie so I'm gonna go ahead and digivolve up into the Kori Kaku pop the memory boost up to two so that way I can go into Beowulf for one and then I'm going to swing security bounce the Zephyrmon so there's one less thing on the board and my opponent is now at zero security. I don't have the memory to be able to go for game right there because I only have one. Didn't have the hammer spark to be able to play the hybrid but I don't think it's going to matter too much. My opponent's not really going to be able to do anything here. They can recover up with a jet selfie but because I have three tamers and a Gabumon in the back it is very likely that I can just go for game next turn so they are going to build up. Go into the rise grade Greymon, which shows that they didn't even have the Jet Sylphie in hand to play out the Cody. Going to swing. The Rise Greymon does survive, but there's nothing else that they can do here. So they are just going to go ahead and scoop up and go on to game two, where I will be going first. So getting on into it, I do have a little bit weird of a hand. So I'm going to put the EX1 Gabu in raising, and I am going to Digivolve into Kori Kaku on top of it. I do extend a Hammer Spark here to just put my opponent at two. So that way, if they want to play something like Cody or Zoe, it is going to pass turn. And I didn't really want them to be able to put multiple Tamers down turn 
turn one. I do promote the Kakumon here. I'm considering if I want to swing and play into the TK Kari or not. I decide that it's too early to do so, so I am just going to use it as fodder for removal, which it does hit the Eden Javelin. So I could have swung right there and got the search, but I don't think it's that big of a deal because now I have a Gabumon in raising and I have a second mat out as long as well as a Tommy. So now I'm going to be setting up pretty good. Next turn, I'm going to be able to promote gain two, draw two. I also have the Tommy set up for Kori Kaku or Kumamon plays later to be able to stun. But now with this memory, I want to be able to get the resources right here and I can go up into the Kumamon. This is going to allow me to swing and get the EX1 Gabu Inheritable. And now I have Bond in my hand for sure whenever I do need that later, which is I am only playing three Bonds. So sometimes it is a card that can be a little bit elusive here, but I have two BT6 Gabumons in my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and hard play one out right now. So that way, in case I get another mat, I can play it for cheap or I can just have an extra body on the board. But then I am going to put another one in raising and then just go ahead and play out the Sorajo to put my opponent to three since they are going to be gaining two from the TK Kari and that's going to allow them enough memory to build up into the Jet Selfie to be able to recover and swing in and survive easily hitting up into a rookie right there. But now a TK coming out, going to grab the Kazimon, another way to build up into a Jet Selfie, which is something that this deck obviously wants to continue to do. So I'm going to promote, want to continue to keep getting those draws and whatnot. Tommy's going to come down and strip these sources and I can get the draw from the Kiaromon right here. Now I'm starting to build up a lot of Tamers in the back. So I'm thinking about how I want to use them here. I have two Tommies on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and Digivolve on top of them with the Kumamon. So that way I can swing and then stun the Jet Selfiemon. I do hit the Wyvern's Breath, which takes down my Gabumon, but it's not that big of a deal. I do lose a check, but it's much better if I hit that Wyvern's Breath there than if I were to hit it with something like the Bond of Friendship. But now the Rapidmon is going to come out and clear my board. Put me at one. I will go to three thanks to the Sora Joe, which is going to allow me to play Howling. I can strip the Rapidmon and stun the Jet Sylphie. I want the Jet Sylphie stun because it's got a much better threat of going into a Mega as to where if you Digivolve over the Rapidmon in something like Rise Greymon or Jet Sylphie, I'm not that scared. So they're going to swing with the Rapidmon. They're going to hit a second Sora Joe, which means that unless they did evolve on top of the Rapidmon and the Jet Sylphie, I'm going to be able to gain an extra four memory on top of the Davis that I already have, and then an extra more with the mats in the back as well when I promote the Gabumon. So they do did evolve into the Rise and the Ophanimon, so playing around the Sorajo. So now I have to think about do I want to promote the Gabumon or do I want to leave it in the back for a potential Bond of Friendship combo turn later now that I have so many. Uh, tamers on the board there's a good chance that i'll be able to stun the digimon on the board and get the value from the sora joe making a bond of friendship turn much more potent so now i'm going to go ahead and digivolve into the kumamon strip the source of the rise greymon swing and then tommy will stun the rise greymon doesn't really matter which digimon i stun here because i am going to go ahead and go with a second howling memory boost to stun the other digimon right there so now i have the two mats which are going to give me memory the two sora joes which are more than likely going to give me memory as well as two howling memory boosts so i'm gonna have a lot of memory to work with next turn to potentially potentially go for game and now they swing and hit a third mat so that's another draw and memory gain when I promote this Gabumon later so it's one of those things where my opponent is very far ahead on the board as well as very far ahead on the tamers but because I am playing a hybrid deck as well as a bond of friendship deck all of this memory right here is going to be a lot so I'm just going to go ahead and try to go for game here we're going to go into the bond of friendship trashing my top two security going to be able to swing unsuspend with its effect bottom decking the jet Sylphie, swinging unsuspending with the Gabumon inheritable to bottom deck the other level five and then swinging once again hitting a cody and now i'm just going to go ahead and go for tamers i know there's no holy flame or holy wave in this list so i am just going to be able to win with the tamers hit the wyvern's breath right there but it doesn't matter going with a second kumamon going to swing it does survive and then i just go with the kori kaku for game and i am going to be able to take it so with that much memory and that many tamers it is a lot of the times going to be solidified versus yellow decks unless they're playing things like holy wave or holy flame but with that being said if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe I'm be bringing you even more BTA content and EX2 content coming up this weekend. But with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out.